It's crazy. I don't know. The, hey, have you guys ever been to a strip club? No, no, but I actually tried like a week ago. What happened yeah. when you tried but couldn't get in? What do you mean? What happened? Um, there was a twenty dollar fee at the entrance. It was across from Pink Taco. That one. That you went like, to the live on, nude girls on, on Melrose. Plus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So like, I pulled up to that one, and it was like, "Yo, can we get in?" And he was like, "Nah, it's like a twenty dollar entrance fee." And like, we had just paid like forty dollars for dinner, like each. Yeah. So I was like, and I had like three margaritas, and I was like, honestly, guys. I don't think I want to pay twenty dollars to see some boobs bro, right now. Bro, like, you, you can't to, even. You also have to pay. You also have to spend money in. Exactly. Right. That's what I was and I didn't say. have you cash have to go either. With, like cash. Yeah. So we yeah, can't go. That the was ATM. another reason. Yeah, but. Uh, okay. <sighs> yeah, of course, you could withdraw money, but damn, you just gotta keep yeah. throwing ones. And then if you don't, they're like, "Why aren't you throwing yeah, ones?" Like, right. Well, because it's different. Girls will cycle through. So like me, Ethan, and my homie Mac, we went to the strip club. Dude, this story is insane. And um. We go in and we were, we were all feeling pretty good. And like, I went and got like $200 out of the ATM after the $20. After like the, well, I I, I was, you know, I was feeling, we just got paid. I was feeling crispy. (laughs) (laughs) I wanted, and that was after. That's a respectable amount. Well, we like, we like, uh, we got like beer towers at this bar. And so we were all, we were all like lit up. And then like we Ubered to the strip club. And we go there, and like these girls are coming out. First five that come out are pretty sick. We're throwing cash, like you know, like, and we're like the only three dudes there. Like, it's literally <laughs> us, and we're like throwing cash, right? So we're like sitting on the stage, and these girls are like just doing heinous things. And I'd never been to a strip club before. <laughs> what are some of the things you saw? Like, what were they doing? There was a girl who. This is really fucked up, but there was a girl who like came up to my friend's face and like spread her butt cheeks <laughs> in his face, <laughs> and I'm like real. sitting like right next to him, and I'm like, oh my god, this is insane, <laughs> and like. So, so anyway, we had, we had, uh, we had, we're throwing all this cash. I probably threw, you know, I probably spent like $120 yeah. on like the first five girls that came out. Nice. This one girl comes out and she's a, a, not exactly my type. Um, she was a little bit bigger and like, she just wasn't, you know, just wasn't doing it for me. It was the dancing, it was, it, you know, her whole persona was off. So none of us threw any money <laughs> and she like comes up to us and keep in mind, we were the only people spending money at the strip club this night. It was it, like, it was, it was only us. It was only you guys in the location. Like there was like three other guys sitting in like the very back. Like, what are they doing, bro? Not to be a lame, show? but I would literally just be throwing money at anyone that walks out, bro. No, yeah. like, but it's very fun because like some of the like interesting. It's very hard. The strip clubs are hard to describe. But this girl, she comes up to us. She's like, "If you guys aren't gonna tip, you guys need to not sit on the stage." And I'm like, "Bro, there's nobody else fucking on the <laughs> stage." Yeah, like it was Dude, ridiculous. There has to wow. be beef between the strippers on who gets to go first. It's not even who goes. I mean, there's just beef on who's better, like on who's yeah. better looking too. Right. I mean, it, it's fucked up. It's literally the most objectified thing ever. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, it, yeah, it's all, it's saying. all. It, yeah. So anyway, but then we, Ethan was watching this Vice video like two weeks later. Have you seen the Vice videos where they do the one star reviews? The guy goes and checks out the I've one seen a few of like, those. Yeah, like I've seen a barber one. Yeah, fat, yeah, and that's yeah. the one I. So saw. I'm gonna go to a driver's ed school, but it's rated one star, <laughs> and they go through the horrible reviews. So anyway, so this, nice. so this guy was reviewing this strip club. You know, he's just he's like reviewing a strip club. And it's the strip club that we went to. It was nice. a one star. There were shootings there. There were all this shit. It was, this is the worst rated strip club in California. And they're watching YouTube video and go, dude, that's the one we went to. <laughs> they're literally like showing me outside. He's like talking to like the manager and shit. And I'm like, oh my God, this makes so much sense. Because it, it, it was a pretty ass strip club. Damn. Mm. So what, what, makes makes it, what makes a good strip club? Like? It's all about like, it's about the money that's put into it. That's what I'm saying. Is it like... The stage has to look nice. The lights are nice. They got it. I'm thinking GTA strip club. Like every time I think of strip club, I think of GTA strip club. When the controller's vibrating. Exactly. (laughs) I mean, think of like. Not the only thing that's vibrating. Imagine you put a. I don't know. Have you guys ever been to like a. um, So think about like a. Think about putting a strip club inside a Chuck E. Cheese. Think about putting a strip club inside Boa Steakhouse. Like which one's going to be. I'm about to go to Boa Wednesday. I'll get your opinion back on Boa, but strip club and a Chuck E. Cheese. Dude, but so that's what this one was like. Everything's like velvet (laughs) and like. Right. Right. And like weird lighting and shit. Like the best way to describe a shitty strip club. And I've never been to a nice one, so I don't know. <laughs> I've only been to I one, and the guy that you were talking to, Will, he's the one that brought me for the first time. He was telling nice. me about it, yeah. He told you no, about it. No, he was fuck? telling me about how he learned how to fish. Oh, yeah? And that you just roll up a five, and you just, like, and, like, it hits a stripper, and then she turns around and tries to look for you, and then you, like, hit again, and then you're, like, come over here. And that's fishing. 
Dude's oh. literally like got tactics up in this yeah. strip club. Like the weirdest thing is just like how like there's like old men that are like just like regular like married men that right? like are like going to like the strip club and like watching it and like a normal thing. And well, like, couples would go too. That's the thing. Yeah. Like older couples go and watch. I was together. about to go in with my girlfriend. Yep. So that's probably a better experience. Yeah. Well, yeah. Would you, uh, oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, no. Would you your don't. girlfriend get no. mad at you if you went by yourself? I wouldn't go by myself, but that's a good question, right? I don't because know. there's two ways. Like, there's you're either going to the strip club to get no lit to. and have a fun time, right. or you're going to the strip club to be horny, and right? Exactly. Girls, so it's like get lit is with the couple, obviously. You're exactly. There, you're seeing the performance, and I I rather go to one that's more performance based, where like they're putting on more of a show <laughs> rather than True. like, yo, like I'm so sexually appealing right now. <laughs> throw me this cat. Yeah. Like, throw I, me money. You know, because the real right. money is when they come up to you and go, "Hey, would you like a private dance?" And then you have to, and then you press X. Yeah, then you press X. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, like that was like the thing about this one is like, uh, like so, this one girl came up and she like was like doing like the private dance shit, and I'm like, all right, fuck it, we'll we'll go do it. So I go do the private dance, then I come back out and like this weird weird guy, he's like, he like comes up to like me, Ethan, and my friend. And he's like, you know, you, you, know, you can just fuck him, right? I'm like, ah, what? What? <laughs> uh, well, that's where I head out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's where I leave. He's like, yeah, you know, it's fine. Like, you can just fuck him. He's <laughs> asking him to fuck, and they just want to fuck. And I'm like, dude, you know what? I'm, I think I'm good. I think I'm okay. Dude, I'm going to go have, that real, bro? Wow. go have sex with an actual, like, person in like my same type of yeah like life. he's just saying that he's literally just yeah. like no no he fuck. was being serious though because it turns out that that's why it's like a bad red strip club yeah because oh strippers. it was the same strip club yes all the girls, <laughs> oh just, my fuck, all the girls just fuck the dudes in the private <sighs> yeah, that's crazy oh why does that re- correlate to a bad rating because uh, the illegal. rating comes from um, the owner yeah. the owner is nuts <laughs> Get a yeah, yeah. that is yeah you hear a lot of like crazy mm-hmm. strip club owners say yeah. that like Yo, my girls are ready. Like, yeah. my girls are about to go crazy That's for you, like, man. You just made it hella gross. Like, yeah, who are you to say that, man? Yeah. yeah. I know. Dude, um, that sounds so pimpish. Yeah. yeah. That's weird. Well, the I other know. crazy thing, are you guys, uh, have you guys seen, like, uh, golf cart girls? Like, the girls that do beverage carts? Like, like, no. like out on a golf course, there's like yeah, girls there's the that drive I have always wanted to go golf. Wait, wait, are you talking about the girls that would go with the rich dudes? No. So it's the, like, they're girls that will go drive beverage they carts work for around. The club. And they're it's it's pretty much like country oh. club strippers is the best way to describe it. They're yeah. not strippers though, right? No, but I'm saying the money that is in it is insane. Oh, it oh is wow! Wild. Like, I know clubs are like yeah, yeah, golf, money. Golf, like, yeah. Golf like there's girls I know that would make like a thousand dollars in tips a day. Oh from, my! From from pouring drinks because they go over in carts like to all the golfers right who a lot of them are like rich old dudes right and they sell them beers and mm-hmm. they'll get tipped and the old guys will tip them a ton of money and they're just like collecting <sighs> rich white old dudes yep. man <sighs> saggy old white dudes so uh, cash. Mm-hmm. dang dude Unbelievable. yo we out yeah wait what do you mean <laughs> 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 we out uh being the fucking golf carty girls. yeah oh, yeah dude uh, we had you know swag boy q yeah. 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 <laughs> so we had him on a podcast. He was our last guest, right? Nice. He he got he's got in total 500k from his sugar mama. 500k. He makes that public. He showed us a chase deposit, thirty thousand dollars, one wire transfer. That's getting paid on the opposite side for guys. Yeah, that makes me sick. I've been waiting for that. I've been what waiting do I have for to any. do for that? That's what I'm like. Where is that sugar mama? What type of swag content? Swag boy Q is swag boy Q, though. What, like, what look at him, bro. Content? He should be getting paid $500,000. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, exactly. What type of content do I got to Right. I don't even know if it's the content. It's his I'm eyes, down. bro. No cap. It's his eyes. Sugar mama's hit me up immediately. <laughs>